So I've been playing around with casting these things in resin. Uh, this one has already been cast. It's pretty hard. I've carved it out pretty thin on the inside. It looks just as good as it did uh, when I carved it 10 days ago. Um, this one has been cut again, carved out pretty thin on the inside. It's been left to dry for a bit. Um, I'm now going to give it the same treatments as this one here. So here it is. And then, yeah, see how it turns out. I've just finished going over Momo with a pen. Now, if we just rip this off, it's done its job. And the pen has seeped through the tissue and onto your pumpkin. Okay, these are the tools that I use. These are just a cheap set of wood carving chisels. You can pick them off, off our, um, Amazon for a fiver or something. So now we're going to start carving Momo. I'm going to use this little V shape to begin with. And all I'm going to do here is start to scrape away the edge of the pumpkin all the way round. So we start to pick out a design. So here we go, just finished shaving the face. Now the next stage is going to be to hollow it out and then stick a light in it and then start messing around with it. Here's Momo. Um, it's hollow finished hollowing out. It's pretty thin, probably about a centimetre to two centimetres thin. But what that means is when you put the light inside the pumpkin really glows and this is the reason why I hollow it out from underneath because it just looks like a cool light all the way around